the Joe Rogan podcast. It's probably the best podcast on YouTube in the year 2020, to my knowledge. And Robert Downey Jr., he's Iron Man, a great, highly acclaimed Hollywood actor. Seems super likable, super intelligent. So I was watching a recent episode of the Joe Rogan podcast where he was interviewing Robert Downey Jr. And they started talking about how eyesight is failing. So let's just take a look at the video and I'll point out some concepts to you that kind of didn't sit so well with me. It kind of triggered me actually. So let's take a look. Boom. So we're talking about losing eyesight. Yes. And you, you actually take comfort in the fact that your eyesight is starting to dwindle? You want to chase it? At first I was like, I'm fine. Then I'm 42. Then it's like, let's try some ones. Then it's one, two, fives. Then it's mm -hmm. one, fives. What are you doing now? Uh, I stop because I have so many fucking glasses. Some of them are ones. Some of them are two, fives. <laughs> it's like, it's like, a, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know. Okay, so I get it at this point. Robert Downey Jr., he is 54 years old, and he's experiencing presbyopia, which everybody experiences. It's where, as we age, the ability of our eyes to readjust our focus from far, far away to up close, it just weakens. And so we end up needing glasses to refocus our eyes. And from this conversation, I'm learning that he basically, Robert Downey Jr. basically sees great far away, but he can't see anything up close because of presbyopia due to normal aging. And he's just using reading glasses. And so they continue the conversation. Okay. But what I appreciate is you know where you're at by what you're able to retain if you fight for it and the things that are going no matter what you do. Now, I've heard there's some uh, Israeli guy who's got this app, probably from Laird, got this app and you do it and you get your eyesight back. And sometimes it's about I don't need to try to use something to hold on to everything. I want to pick the five or seven things that I definitely want to hold on to. And I want to watch the rest of it go in and out with the tides. I, I, I agree with that in some ways. But if there was a real thing where you could get your eyesight back, I yeah. would definitely be on that. Well, I don't think there is a LASIX, real thing. Lasix? Yeah, that's not real. The okay. problem Joe Rogan just said there's nothing that he knows of where you can regain the ability to see younger to be able to refocus up close and see far away. Joe Rogan, this guy's smart. He knows a lot and he knows a lot of people. At this point, I'm getting amazed and it continues. Well, LASIK, but I know people several problems. You can get it if you have problems with your vision, but yeah. we have macular degeneration that's coming from age. Age-related macular degeneration, LASIK doesn't really fix that. Time out. We don't all develop age-related macular degeneration. We all develop presbyopia because the lens in our eye ages and it loses its ability to refocus. It's called presbyopia, not age-related macular degeneration. But it continues. But I know people who were wearing glasses and then got LASIK and they don't wear glasses yes, anymore. That's that's a fact. But also but we never wore glasses. They get one eye too close up and one eye for distance. It's even more fun. Yes. Half the eye exams <laughs> I've gotten wind up fucking me. Two weeks later, you're like, these don't work. Yeah. What about the loss of a uh, a sense that you're accustomed to being fine annoys mm -hmm. you? What about it? Yeah. I, I like being able to see things. Uh, read labels in particular. Like how many of these fuckers am I supposed to take? You know, and what's in here? Yes. You know, like how many milligrams? What's in? What but does that say? Also, you doing this shit? It, but it's also funny to go up to like a, a little Lutron pad and have to go <laughs> <laughs> like that to me. I just uh, it's a gas. Really? Interesting. Uh, except the things you cannot change. Now, if someone okay. comes in and says, Joe, Bob, I got it. We're done. Come over here. It's easy or, or it's a supplement or do this for two weeks or stop doing this, this and this. Then there's a trade off. Yes. Well, I'm down for anything that actually works to make your eyesight come back. But I have heard of nothing. 
Everybody that I've heard of. This might, be our, this might be our project then because you care and I don't, so we have a nice yeah. balance. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy named David Sinclair that I talked to. He's a, a professor at Harvard. Yeah. Is it MIT? Where the fuck is he? It's Harvard. He's – they're doing some work with people that have serious eye diseases and serious injuries, and they're actually injecting some form of bacteria that has been encoded with some miracle cure for degeneration. And they can detach retinas, fix things. and Incredible. Yeah. So they're working on some stuff. Yeah. So maybe in the future. You won't have twos and ones and 1.5s and – just yeah, what am I got? I, I, I have a lighted to greener pastures. I'm sure there's going to be other issues and hurdles that you're going to go eyesight. I don't fucking time that we have real shit going on here. Yeah, I'm sure too. I'm, I'm concerned about that. The reality is they are completely unaware that in the year 2020, one of the most common operations that ophthalmologists do who who perform what we call refractive surgery is lens replacement surgery on an elective basis where we can remove the aging lens that doesn't work as well and replace it with a new lens implant that will make you see far away and up close without glasses for most activities. The lens implants make you see like you're about a 40 year old as of the year 2020 and they'll only continue to get better. The amazing thing is we've been using these implants for the past 15 years and this video just hammers home the the underlying situation where there is a lack of public awareness that presbyopia correcting surgery is safe, very common, painless, very routine. It's what we do on a daily basis, and it works beautifully. So, Joe, Robert, there is a solution for you. It's called lens replacement surgery. It'll help each of you see like you're younger, and it works very well. So this just reminds me that as a physician and in our practice, that we need to increase the public awareness that presbyopia correcting surgery, in our practice we call it laser lens replacement, is super safe, super common, and it works. I had it done on this eye in the year 2017 when I had to use reading glasses all the time and now I don't have to use them. So it works very well and um, that's just my thought of the day. I think we need as a practice to encourage patients who need reading glasses not encourage them, but make them aware that there is a, a better option, in my opinion, and that is surgical correction of presbyopia. Thanks for watching and have a great day.